What is happening, Magnesites? We have a new Honest Trailers. This one's for Deadpool 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. After Deadpool 1 came out of nowhere and made everyone lose their f***ing minds, a sequel will rise that's just as good, if not better, making audiences everywhere say, eh, this one's good too. It's like having a surprise party, but this time it's not a surprise, and it came three weeks after a funeral. <laughs> Deadpool 2. <laughs> In a world where- Wait, 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 wait. Hold the door. Hit the brakes. Cut. Deadpool? No, it's Banksy. Would you like to buy a painting? Yes, it's fucking Deadpool. Let me guess where you're going with this one. In a world where blah blah Disney, blah blah TJ Miller, blah blah blah, pretending you give a shit about Shatterstar. Hey, that is not what... Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's pretty much what we're gonna say. Why the fuck are you even doing Deadpool 2? Listen to your commenters and tear Coco a new asshole already. But Coco's a really <laughs> sweet movie. <laughs> and Deadpool 2 isn't? All right, fuck nuts. Hit it, Blind Al. Uh, <laughs> what's happening? Uh-oh. From whatever internet company owns them this week, comes a YouTube format that's been chugging along for six f***ing years. Even though everyone knows they peaked at Frozen. Think it's time to let it go, man. Honest Trailers. The Honest Trailer. Oh, man. In a world where comic book movies are actually f***ing great these days. No evil shall escape my sight. Well, most of them. Watch these nerds find one logic gap and pretend like it ruined the whole movie. Well, actually, <laughs> if Cable changed the future, he wouldn't have to travel back in the first place? Good point. No, you pedantic horse c***. It's a movie about a cyborg cartoon with huge pouches and tiny feet. Stop pretending it's the real world. <laughs> Good, Revisit yes, all the classic Honest Trailer tropes, like the part where they just say bubes for no reason. Actually, we kind of <laughs> moved away from that. Smart choice. The part where their slower fans keep requesting trailers for movies that are still in theaters, unlike Deadpool 2 Super Duper Cut, available now on Blu-ray and digital. And the starring yeah. section, which actually isn't bad, but my movie did it way better. Like, half of yours are just bad puns. Joe Pepsi, Gary's niece, Beverly Hills Club, uh, Helen Rearview Mirren, Carlise Theron. Oh yeah? Well, uh, you stole our Jesus joke. Now I'm talked about in the same sentence as Jesus. Passion of the Christ, then me. Deadpool is the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time, except for Jesus. That I said. On our video. I do not need to be here. I could be playing Fortnite with Drake, Ninja, and Mike Pence right now. Sorry, sorry, my bad, carry on. <laughs> Starring, nobody you've ever heard of, Dead Horse. That made me all kinds of turgid. I don't know, it seemed a little harsh. I mean, we have been nominated for three Emmys. Wait, what? Three Emmys? Really? Oh, come on. This is a f***ing outrage. We're done here. Wait, don't go. Huh? Eh, he'll be back for Detective Pikachu. All right, so I had uh, forgotten. Actually, last night when I pulled this up, I noticed it said featuring Deadpool, but I forgot when I was watching it. So when he started to take over, I was like, wait a minute. So did they actually get um, Ryan Reynolds? Uh, thank you again to the radiant unicorn fart that is Ryan Reynolds. He truly is a treasure and we are all not worthy. So I guess he did lend his uh, voice acting to it. He, um, cause it's funny cause you could kind of, <laughs> you could hear the difference whenever his voice came in. Like I'm wondering where he recorded it at because <laughs> I could tell. It was almost like Ryan was like, all right, let me record this on my phone. I'll send you all the files and I, I'll talk to y'all soon. Does it sound like, because you could hear the, you could hear a difference when his voice came in, like the in the background. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about when it comes to recording voices. Anyway, that was good. That was good. That was good. Um, I'm going to have to go get me my Blu-ray on it. Although I like the first one better than I like the second one. I really did. So about the second one. A little convoluted at times. It just uh, didn't flow like the first one did. Maybe they should have kept the same director. I'm sure it would have still been funny as hell if he had been on board, but whatever. From what I hear, they had their own issues with it, but it doesn't matter to me. 
Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought of this. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, you can kiss my screen junkies watching. Derriere. 10 million subscribers. Woo!